As a farm, the lot place is doomed. It is perhaps the last remaining piece of agricultural acreage within the Metropolitan District. Taxes upon its undeveloped area mount yearly until it has become unprofitable to transport its gracious gifts of foodstuffs to the wallabout. The lots bowed to the inevitable, selling off parcels of land to developers until all that remained was three quarters of an acre surrounding the old homestead. Signs went up along Avenue S proclaiming the advantages of owning your own home for 6950 terms arranged. The immigrants who used to work the lot farm were joining the middle class. Brooklyn is a pretty darn big place now, but it wasn't always that way. I mean, uh, I, one of the stories that always fascinated me is a gas station on King's Highway, and uh, my dad knew the owner. And he told me that when he first opened the station, it was the last stop before the forest on King's Highway. And that's something that's always kind of stuck with me as I now live, I guess, in the middle of the forest, uh, or what was the forest. While old ways faded, new opportunities arose. Women's suffrage was ratified in 1920, and Alice Saddam cast her first ballot. She earned a degree from Adelphi University and later became the head librarian at Erasmus Hall, a school founded by her Dutch ancestors. Ella never married, but traveled internationally with her friend Arlene Voorhees, whose family had sold Ella's family their farm generations before. In 1989, 91-year-old Ella Saddam would take her last breath in the same house where she'd taken her first. The house had fallen into disrepair, and Ella's heirs sold the house to the city of New York. That sale marked the end of the longest continual ownership of a property by a single family in the city's history. I remember not being able to see the house. There was so much vegetation there. I remember the shutters falling off. I remember all the missing paint that was on the house. I remember, I remember kids that were breaking in occasionally, writing their names on the walls, you know, things that were happening to the house that should have never happened. We're out here in the hinterlands of Brooklyn, you know, in the deep suburbs of New York. Uh, and people don't even realize what we have here. I mean, these houses are as old as anything in the city. Tell the story of how this great city became a great city. The Lot House has an opportunity to bring past, present, and future all together. We're sitting here with a house older than the United States of America. Before Brooklyn was Brooklyn, before it was a borough, it was the independent town of Flatlands, the first area settled in what would become the Brooklyn that we know today. There are stories to be told, stories to be learned, rediscovered, and stories still to be made. And hopefully, Friends of the Lot House will be able to compile all those stories for future generations of Marine Parkers.